While I'm tempering the scallop and falchion blade, it's kind of like watching paint dry. It takes a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mosaic Damascus billet that I made months ago for another project that didn't really turn out exactly how I wanted it, but still really, really cool. And I'm going to turn this billet, this chunk of steel, into a knife.
So from here, if I wanted to, that could be the finished part of the forging. I could just go in and start grinding it. But because this is mosaic, precious material, you know, took a lot of time to make this material, it'd be kind of a waste to just grind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and forge a little bit of a front bevel and then do a little bit of a false edge because I kind of want this to be kind of like a fantasy knife. So I want it to have like a steep false edge on the back. And instead of just grinding it in, I can save some time and material by forging it. Time to rough grind it. I'm just gonna do a perimeter grind, true everything up, and then go on to scuffing the surfaces. My edge thickness is about where it needs to be already, just in the forging. So from here, we'll grind it, and then we'll be ready to heat treat the knife.
All right, I got a little carried away with the blade prep. I took it all the way through 220. I didn't exactly worry about taking out all the grit, but I got it through 220 in scotch Bright because to be honest, I'm no different than the rest of the knife makers out there. I'm really anxious to see what this pattern looks like. Let's go ahead and dip it in ferric chloride and see what we got. All right, that's really cool. Pretty awesome. It's almost like a Union Jack kind of pattern up the blade. Definitely excited to get this thing finished out. Thanks for watching this episode of In The Works. And if you enjoyed this video, check out a couple of our other videos. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.